Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we are going to play, or try and play, Kazako from Pollux. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. What? Laser and light bridge? Difficulty is not easy. It was playtest by Requiem Soul and Prototype. Thank you, for Quinton, for his help. Certified without unintended for solutions or trapping, solution, or trapping situations. Um... Hmm, okay. So, those guys have done it. Uh, the orange physic is a physics shield. If you are lucky, the laser is set to no collision. Uh, load and save is for a contest. And there are a number of edits. So, yeah, just before we start this, um, Libby Bapper had noticed this was in my queue. And um, they did actually um, say to me, there is an orange field, which you would normally think um, stops both players and cubes but apparently it acts more like a green field which is the one that's kind of like a um, uh, player can pass through but it's like grating for cubes so it doesn't fizzle the cube but it does just um, hold it in place so yeah this was um this map was actually requested by one of my youtube viewers um who said they would love to see me attempt it and have a go at it so um yeah i know First hand, just how complicated Pollux maps can be. That's all I'm going to say. It looks pretty nice, I have to say. Looking good. Alright, so we can't go that way. Okay, so. I guess I go back down then and uh, I'll just fall down this ledge. Over here. So we have some turret debris. We have a vitrified. Is that a. A co op character right there? It sure is. Oh, okay. There's the turrets, so. Can't go that way. Fair enough. We can get back up to there. Hey, there's a core there as well and everything. Maybe we can pick that up later. Okay. We have a pull surface which has dripped some paint. We have a fan rotating. We have a fling into there, I would say, at some point. I like the shadow that that uh, fan is casting is pretty nice, to say the least. Um, all right, anyway, can't do anything in here for now. So we will continue to soldier on. Okay, we can do something like this to get across here. I'm guessing that's going to be more helpful though if we can bring the laser across, right? Possibly. And we have no laser collision. Excellent. We are one of the luckies. Alright, so let's forget about the laser for now. Let's go activate a button. Which will do things and stuff. I'm guessing that's going to give us that laser here. Okay, so. First things first. Let's go and... Oh, I'm going to want to get back though, aren't I? Okay, well no. Okay, I've just made a mistake in my setup here. It's fine. So, we'll do what we just did a moment ago. So we'll go get the laser. I thought that might be an important um, part. And that just done did broke the light bridge. Now, does that stay active? It does. Fantastic. So, next up, we need to find a way then to. Or it's safe there. It's probably a good bit. So, next up, we need to find a way to get into there. So, by doing that, did anything else change? It doesn't appear like it did. So, 
so. How does one fling? Because we need that out there, right? That's a thing we need to do. Hey, Bendy. What you doing over there? I see you. I see you. This is like a freaking spider core. It's crazy. Alright, well, I'm guessing we need to do something more... Oh, also, I just realized I can't actually get back through there at the minute, can I? No. So, we've got to be able to do something in here. It's got to be the way. I mean, that glass is going to stop us from doing anything there, right? So... Okay. We got the cube. Grab a save. I just thought about going to that further portal surface because it would probably give us more momentum as we flew out, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, that's the thing we've done. Now we can take this... And that gives us the light bridge back. Now we have that. Was that the exit condition? Where is the exit door? I... No, that's the exit condition. But it's, it really sounded like... To me, it really sounded like that was a like opening a door somewhere else. Okay, so what am I going to want to do here? That's our next question. So we can do that, or we can activate a light bridge, right? I mean, I could potentially do this now. I wonder if I maybe should have put the portal there instead. The exit's up there.
Ha, huh, okay, so... I think I need to get the light bridge so I can walk over and get the cube. So once I've done this, how can oh, I mean I could do this? Then I could walk through this portal here. Okay, back it up. Back it up, back it in. Okay. Let's try to shoot the right portal this time, then I can get up to the top, right? Okay. It's got to be worth a save over. So that's the thing I could do. That just looks like it's going to catch a cube. Those, um... Those weird... Hey, companion cube. Those weird looking things down there remind me of the radioactive mushrooms in, um... Ah, uh, what's it called? Um, oh god, what's it called? Yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly on. I'm pretty sure that's just going to fling me straight back over to there and lose all my portals, right? Yes. That's exactly what's going to happen, so we don't want to do that. maybe use portals for this instead although use a portal can hit that I can't walk over there with it I try to think if I angled that into this cube into the portal surface instead there I could potentially reuse it Potentially. Oh, 
don't know how else though to Because I would need to... have to use the portals to open the surface. Sorry. I have to use the portals to open the fizzler to get into the starting area. Reloading the map breaks laser collision. See, what I wanted to do was something like this. That would... I think that's why there's debris here, though, if I'm honest. But yeah, that's the sort of thing I wanted to do. But how'd you do that with... I could recall the cube. But by doing that... I don't know, I mean... This seems... A little bit out there, but... thing I can do but I then become stuck over here 
because I can't. There's, there's no way back. that's just a return path if you get over the cyber two portals you can return back over to here that would make sense so you've got to get the light you've got to get the let's just kill myself at this point because there's no there's no coming back from that um So what I basically need at this point is, I don't think I can get the cube this way. I think I need the portal surface on there, possibly. That's not particularly easy, is it? Because the minute I stop firing there... Hold on. Just... Let's just try something like completely crazy and completely out there. Got me some height. Although I'm not sure why I wanted the height. Why did I want the height? I don't think that would be beneficial or help me in any way. I think what I was thinking there was along the lines of... Could I use that to maybe fling out somewhere and grab the cube? Okay. 
See, that's almost what I want, but I... I don't know how to get around this one. I think that's just purely a return path. Um, I don't know where to go from here. But I could do this. That's something a bit different. Hang about. Let's imagine I didn't just make that move. Good to imagine. But, no, it's not going to work because I'm not going to be able to get any height at all from here, am I? I was thinking, could I get in like a height out there, jump into there to come out of there and grab the cube if I timed it right, but no, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. I just burn the cube. Okay, well, we are we're struggling at the minute. We are struggling.
Here's another potential option, though. Look at that there. Go back over to this side. So what if I could do this, set the portal on here and come back through to this side. Take the cube over to the other side and do that. Maybe. So we want to do this. I just need to... So now I need to... I effectively need to turn the cube around. Hold on a moment. What if I did this? Then what if I did this? There we go. There we go. Okay. Save. Success. We have a second cube. All right. Progress is made. Now, we can now afford to do... Straight into there, right? Oh, fiddlesticks. No, we don't need to do that. We can just, we can simply point this up there to keep the bridge active, right?
Okay. Maybe I boo booed there. Maybe I'll just take this with me for now. So now comes the issue of, I think I probably should have kept that portal there. Actually, I could get this out, actually. I could get that out by using the port at the top. Uh, hold on, I need to do some readjustments here, don't I? Let's go across here. See, what I need to do is I need to keep that I feel like I need to put the other cube here now. So that when I lift that one off... use that anyway. Okay. I'll save that for now. Okay. 
wonder if I can uh, inflict any pain on this. Just for the lols. I can't because I need to do that. Alright. Just don't worry about that for now. Okay. See, that's too low there to do anything on that. The, the, the trick is now, though, what can I do with two cubes? but so not to respawn this one here. That's the tricky question. I mean, also, now that I've lost the light bridge, I don't think I can get away back to here, can I? No, I can't. So I don't know. I don't actually know if bringing this cube through to here is the right thing to do or not. See, the minute I hit that, now, this cube is lost. But I don't see a way to... see a way to do anything here so I don't think that's the right thing to do no it is not time to have my oven professionally cleaned um, So I'm not sure that that actually helps me in... in any sort of usable scenario. Think about what happens if I do this. Um, I 
cancel the light bridge and give me a laser to use. So here, is there a way? Is there a way that I can use the light bridge to dislodge that cube once I get back over to the other side? out well But it didn't work. Maybe it did work, hold on. That didn't work. That didn't work. That's just put me straight back to here.
all I kind of need to do, well, all I need to do is keep this pointing here and get this cube back to the other side just so I can replace this in the middle, lift the other cube up, and then we've sort of, yeah. So I need to get this to the other side first. Um, also, just want to check. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but yeah, it's not going to work. That's not going to happen. Although, to be fair, actually, the portals don't matter anymore, do they? Um, am I mean, no clip? Yeah, I'm in mean, no clip. All right. Do the portals even matter? Yeah, the portal does matter. Which of that ledge is there? Because the other thing I was thinking was... Could I angle it? Or position the cube in such a way that it was pointing back over to there anyway. Unfortunately, I am about out of time with today's recording session. So, yeah, I think... The, the next step is to try and work out how to get the other cube into here. Place it on this white marker here. I don't know. Um, I need to put some thought into this as to what I actually want to do. And how I want to use that second cube. It's more about keeping the laser going through that relay in the middle there, just so I don't respawn that other cube. Um... Which is why I kind of wanted to put the cube here. But to do that...
well, in short, I don't see how to do that. So, I'll have to go to the drawing board. Um, probably take me a few hours to work this one out or get some hints and tips. Um, and then we'll come back to it. But, um, yeah, I just clearly am missing some sort. If I've done the first, all this up to now correctly, um, I'm definitely missing something um, as to how to proceed and keep that relay intact if that's what I need to do. So, um, yeah, I'm back momentarily, hopefully, with some more progress. All right, guys, we're back with Kazaku um, from Pollux. And, um, yeah, I have managed to make some progress. So, I was I was right in what I did there, I think. Well, I think I was, anyway. The progress I've made, I basically managed to get both cubes into there. Um, and what I did over there to take that cube into there was, um, as far as I can see, correct. So... We're going to do is we're not going to worry about hitting that middle thing anymore. So, for the rest of the map and the rest of the playthrough, we really do not want to hit that, I don't think, to um, respawn the cube. We don't need to turn that orange fizzler on again, um, I believe. So, what we're going to do is take the cube over to here again, like we did previously. And bring the cube under the fizzler. Uh, not like that. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, just so you guys know I'm not cheating. Bring the cube over here. Under the fizzler here like this, like I did before. And bring it up this side. Okay, so now we have this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this light strip here. I think all the light strips are basically telling us where we need to position cubes at various points of the playthrough. So we've done that. And then we're going to angle this cube over into there. Obviously being very careful not to hit that middle receptacle. So then, what I'd kind of... I got to this for like quite some time and I was thinking, okay, so I've done this, I've got to keep here and what can I do? And I'd overlooked a surface, which was this one here. Because what that does is that disables that. So from doing that, I can then point my laser over here, through here, and that will open up that, just like that. We're going to grab a save there. And now that we've done that, we can swap the portal to there. And we can pick up the cube. Oh, I did the wrong. Alright, well. Whoopsie. I did the wrong portal surface. Like a douche. Well, yeah, basically what we're going to do then is open that fizzler using... Without using the... Um, uh, cubes just using portals and that's about as far as I got up to so that wants to be that portal instead then we can pick up this cube and we are free to exit so this is kind of where I've got up to at the moment. And I was thinking to myself, is this really right? Because if I mess up or I now lose that portal there, could I reset? Um, so let me demonstrate. If I was to do say like that, something silly like that. And something silly like, I don't know, that. So I no longer have a portal. I was like, well, okay, can I actually get this set up again? And the answer is yes. Because I can do my setup from here, point the cube there, open that up, put it back to there. Bob's your uncle. So, um, yeah. I'm happy. I think I'm happy with what I've got so far is right. I just now need to think about what I'm going to do from here going forward. So, I mean, we have, we have two different options. We could basically try and do something with the cubes out here or take both cubes back into the other side. 
I'm also quite conscious that we haven't actually used this. And I think we're going to either use that as a fling out of there to get some momentum like I did previously. Or we could use it with the light bridge. So we could light bridge up to there to put a portal there and potentially reopen that. So, um... Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what option to try. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take the cubes. I mean, we're going to want... I guess we're going to want... Portal on there with the light bridge to walk across there. I'm also quite curious about the exit though, because the exit's up there. I'm just trying to think what would benefit me where. So if I had the light bridge there, I'd obviously have to be through here. I have to have a queue pointing to there at least. Not quite sure how I would get over here though, in the first instance. But then if I had light bridge, queue point there, I could walk across there with a queue. Let's so walk across here. Could I potentially jump on a cube and jump over? Would that help in any way? But even if I had that and was across here, cube would be there. I could pick cube up. Pick the cube up. Place it here. Go through there like that. No. Okay, so I would put a cube here, pointing in that direction. I would go through here, go back, because this would then give me momentum to get to the other side. Right. Then I could move a cube to... Potentially move a cube to like one of these surfaces, maybe. Use that again to get back. But it's the fight. Mm. Sorry, doing all that, but the final move then falls flat. I would need to go through. I just want to try this as well. I don't even know that. Let's just try this a minute. Uh, so. Light bridge. Have this here. And I'll just get another cube. So I can jump over there. This is my plan, you see. I would put that there like that. Go through here. over to here
And I could do that. But I'm stuck here then. I don't know how to get back up to the top. So the other thing again this is just obviously me spitballing ideas for something to work towards. So here's the other idea. Which is fine. And that gets me up to the top, but... So I'm not going to be able to make that without, am I? No. So I would need to use a cube. So I don't think that's right, because I need a cube for the light bridge, and I don't see a way that I could jump and grab the cube together. I mean, you have to have lightning fast reflexes to do that. And I honestly don't think that would be... What Sir Pollux intended. No, I can't do that. So, that's out the question. So, yeah. Um, I do think, though, our ending move needs to consist of a cube here, another cube of the right type here, So that one would point to there. This one would then point to... Well, we'd probably have that with us. Because then we could bring this back through this portal or just pick it up from here. Place it down to there. And oh, all right. Well, that's not the answer either, then. Oh, okay, so progress was made. Well, I don't know where we go from here. That's a thing we can do. Uh, hold on. Maybe if I'd have dropped that down on a portal surface. Let's say we did that. Okay. Put that there. So now we can go back up here and place this one here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So then, we could redo this. I should have maybe done this instead. Maybe? So if I put that there though, how does that benefit me? See, here's the problem. I can't now... What can I do from here? Could do something like that, but I need to land in there. Get back up to here. Go through here. So that does that, to which I could then go back to this side. But... It doesn't really help, does it? So I need to do that. Uh, hold on. Is there a weird angle I could see here to hit that from here? I don't think so, because I need to hit the top, wouldn't I? I need to go through the top of the portal. I've got a couple of different options to try next. Um, all right, cube, calm down.
going to try one more thing before I have to go, because I've got to go to work. No. I was wondering whether or not I could actually, if I could angle that in place. Something like that, but no, it's not going to aim high enough. All right, well, I have to go back to the drawing board. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure how this map is going to end up though yet, which is a slight concern. So obviously, I need the laser to come through. Well, I don't necessarily need the laser to come through there, do I? The other thing I was thinking was... Can I... Oh no, I need that there, so that wouldn't work. I was thinking, could I... Sorry. Could I have... used the floor portal and that... the cheeky a cheeky cube on there to point to that but no okay didn't notice that before that's interesting There is an area to kind of stand here. What if I didn't bring this cube out, though? Going back to what we had before, which was this, 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 this. Okay.
How could I use this? Or could I even... Could I use this at all? I could have... Because if I had that, I could afford to... I could afford to recall that cube. But... I don't know. I'll have a think about it, and I'll come back to it real soon. All right, guys, we are back with this Pollux map, and yeah, we've, we've put a bit of time in, good half an hour, three quarters an hour or so, and <clears throat> I think I made some progress. So, going back to something that was made, a comment that was made on my um, YouTube channel uh, by Camerson, actually. He said, oh, I know that you're playing the Pollux map next. Um beware there are some interesting flings and I think the interesting flings part relates to um, what's going on over here so I've been playing around with this and I have managed to once at least get something working with this so uh, here's what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna first of all get the other side and set up the cube on the other side Like this, do that. I go and pick it up from here. Like so. Now we'll drop that back over to here. We can then plop this sort of anywhere over here, really, that we can kind of utilize that. I'm not going to do that just yet, though, because we need to use the light bridge to get reset the portal back at the top. Like this. Okay, so then from here, I can set my laser portal through here, which will open up the portal. Okay, so now the, the, big, the big conundrum here for me was to how do I get back across the other side? And this is where the like, interesting flings, so to speak, come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to fling through that wall portal, through the angled portal come back with enough momentum to get back through that wall portal but end up on the other side at the same time and yeah it, it sounds complicated it is complicated it's taken me it took me a lot of trial and effort to get this so i don't know how many times it's going to take me to do now that we're actually recording but yeah that's not right but yeah like i said it took me a, a lot of trial and effort to actually hit it once let alone hitting it again so, uh, just to bear with me until we actually do hit this. Like I said, I do believe this is what I need to do to... Okay. Oh! I shouldn't have turned the portal around. There's a bit of confusion there because when I've done that before... The reason I turned the portal around was because when I've done that before... Maybe I didn't turn it around the right way. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't need to turn the portal around. That would be... Massive overcomplication of... What's already complicated enough. And we've made it. To the other side. Okay. So now we can do... This. Which lets me out of this side. Okay. Now. I do believe... In miracles... So, what I think I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually do the thing I said I wasn't going to do. I've been thinking about this. And I can use the other cube again. Because I can potentially get a free spawn now on the cube. Um, as well as that, what's going to happen is if I keep the portal uh, on there, I'll get a light bridge going in this direction, hopefully. So, fingers crossed. That's one. That's two. Okay. Now, from here, I might be able to do and get the cube back. I think this is good. So this is the kind of scenario I was toying with earlier on, isn't it?
So what if now I did... That would help me though. That could help me though. If I could get a portal to shoot that f over there, maybe. I could shoot that to open that up. But then where do I go from there? That's the question. It takes me so long to think of a move, and then you make the move. Baby, make the move. Step across the line. So I still, I still can't picture the like, the ending moves in my head. I've got to get up to there. Using the light. Using the laser. Hold on, maybe. There's the possibility of... Doing this. And if this is open already. Okay, so maybe. Maybe. The ending. Is something like this. And then from there, I would shoot that to there. And then what though? Because I can't see that portal from there, so that's not going to work. Anyway, that's, jump that's jumping way far. That's jumping the gun way ahead from where we are at the minute. We need to actually figure out this bit first. Um... See, that's a thing, but that doesn't help. So how would I... See, I would need to get back.
Okay, that's... That's something. So this is kind of setting up... This would be setting up what I was talking about over here, right? Do I even need that now? Because could I maybe just do... Oh. Well, I did that wrong. It's just how would I get to there? If I could get to there... straight. It's not very straight, is it? So it is fizzled. I was just checking there just to see whether or not there was um, there was actually a fizzler in place there. doesn't matter. Is it because I was thinking I could like, go out on here maybe? 
but still can't see that panel. How do I... I feel like I'm close, but still very far away, if that makes any sense at all. The last thing we did was all of this, these shenanigans here. We did the jump in to get that portal surface there. like what a full block of course I can get up there but not with a cube and I think I need the cube If I could get onto that light bridge without a cube, it wouldn't be a problem. I think I've got to use, in, in the final solution, I think I've got to use both lasers. Sorry, both cubes to redirect the laser, which would mean I have to do it from there, wouldn't it? But at the same time, I don't see how, I can't see those two surfaces. There's two crucial surfaces from each other. So, I, if I'm here, I can't see that. Which would then suggest I need to be... there let's go back a minute Ah, uh, did that wrong. Again.
So that would work. But I would now just need to swap that round. I think I'm on the right lines. I just need to work out. How that portal surface gets turned, how that cube gets turned round. Thing is, I don't see a way to. Unless. No, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to use the cube, though, aren't I? I was thinking, unless I get it to cause it to respawn. All right, so what if instead I had this on here? And I instead had something like that. No, it's going to be too much of a I don't know, it might be. All right, all right, we're good. So, I don't know, because obviously this debris here, it, it makes me think not, but... All right, so let's open that up there like that. I can then do this, and that, which opens up that if I need it. I don't even see that I could rotate it in any way because it's at a funny angle, isn't it? It's at like a 45 degree angle, so. Likewise, my shots here are out to, to a 45 degree angle. Well. I think I'm close. I think I'm close, but I need to give it more thought. So, I'm going to play around for a little bit more. Hopefully, when I come back, we'll have the final solution to this map. And uh, we'll be able to put it to bed. So, uh... Stick around, we'll be back real soon. All right, guys, hold your hats. I think I've got it literally within about 10 minutes of the previous, um, finishing up the previous. So, I think the key is to get both cubes into here. Because then that gives me two, um, two differing angles for the, um, hitting that to open that and then to go on to the exit. So, if my theory is correct, by George, I hope it is. 
Right, so. Do this, do this. Now. Gonna want to do... That like that. That like that. Which then allows me to do... Actually, no. Take this one through. So I don't think it matters what key we do where, but this one's going to point to there. This one will point to here. And we'll go back through. Send this one back to there. And then I just fire onto here. We're done. Yes. We did it. Um, what just happened there? That was a mighty, mighty explosion. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we did it. Did this robot through here explode? No, he did not. Man, that was... That was tricky. That was very, very tricky. Very good portal management. And to be fair, I... It, it, originally, I thought that I'd have to keep a portal... Uh, sorry, a laser going through that middle relay there. But, um... Turns out, in the end, um, we didn't have to. I think I only respawned that cube once. Um... So yeah, but yeah, definitely some very interesting flings, for sure. That one more than anything, um, getting that right to the momentum to go back through there to get to the other side. That one had me stumped for quite some while, um, and obviously making the more progress of getting both cues into here into there. A lot going on in this map, but um, it's a Pollux map, and I didn't expect anything else. So um, yeah, thankfully we made it to the end guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it if you've got any match lines to play please leave in the comments or head over to my google form a link to that is in the description but until next time i've been knock you've been awesome see ya